And then on towards the next team, we're gonna have team one versus team three, if I'm not wrong. This could be team two, but you know what? You never know. Or this could, you know, what? who cares anymore? This is training camp, so they're all just playing for fun. And like, listen, right? Small rant. I know they're all playing for fun, but like as a commentator, if you want me to commentate this, it's so hard. I say something, something else happens. The quite the opposite just happens. I say it's not going to register a hit. It ends up as a terror shock. What do you want me to do? But anyways, uh, Hui Yi rotating in towards corner heads right here as the acrobat. Acro should be able to call. Should, uh, this is kind of acrobat's home once again. Jumping down a window right there, but with that speed boost being utilized, uh, Acro will be forced to pull a ball immediately. Mm, rotating in towards the pallet would be great. Never mind. <sighs> what did I just say? Um, the pallet stun there was lovely. The pallet stun there was lovely. We should be able to blink down the acrobat here immediately as well. But like seeing the... Seeing the survivors right now as well, we do have T nearby wanting to tank a normal hit. I feel like if T actually manages to tank that normal hit, it's more beneficial for Chi Yue. But with that fly, we'll be baited out by a charge attack hit. Slide for machines, it seems like it's not enough, but... It's still a tie game. With games like these, as single hit hunters, even if you get a fast end without using blink, there's still a chance for this to become a tie game. There is still a chance for this to, to still become a tie game. But our currently opening up a new cypher machine at Corner House. And like seeing the cypher machine distributions here, there's going to be two cypher machines near... Uh, near... Near school gate and one cypher machine here at Geisha's. So like even with Nightwatch, if you want some map control, it's not gonna be as easy. Well not a Geisha's a graveyard. We're gonna get a normal hit, normal rescue. Where you should be able to rotate in toward these pallet areas. That's a very beautiful ball, but he should have held on to the ball a little bit earlier than just tapping the ball. Holding on to your items is better than just tapping it. It's 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 not a theory, it's it's a fact. Right, but with you right here getting a double hit, and of course, and of course, that um, extra stack of speed boost right there, it does give you quite a bit of advantage point here if they do want to sell the survivor. But with the whistle coming from Psycho side, seems like Heart will be coming in to give a little bit of tinnitus towards the hunter right here. And if the hunter gives them enough distance, what this will end up as is a no damage rescue, and that's not what we want to see. But this is a night watch who has unlimited dashes currently, so that's doesn't really matter we're gonna get another normal hit registered on towards the mercy and mercy here most likely shouldn't body block if we can force the blink out of the night watch here it's all g it's all okay for the survive for the survivors because like not only do you not have teleport for end game lovely not only do you not have teleport for end game the cypher machines are also nearly done seeing the cypher machine distributions right here we're only missing a cypher machine which is a 67 percent near middle near middle so for mercenary right here he is going to be the opening of this game considering the fact that he's no items to use for end game and he will be quite a fast down because he's no items to use he's kind of just like a walking survivor now is he's it's it's good for Nightwatch to chase after a walking survivor with no items. What's bad for Nightwatch is if they manage to get a cipher machine done right before Mercenary downs. Because what you want to do, what you want to do in a nutshell is to try map pressure as much of, as possible. But seeing that the survivors actually went towards the gate first instead of getting the cipher machine done, it seems like they're actually prepping for endgame here instead. Now then, with everyone at full health, Psycho would be the best chase. With everyone at full health, Psycho will still be, 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 be the much better chase, to be honest with you on that part as well. But 18, wanting to rotate back in towards the middle, except the fact that he is actually containing here. It's not going to be the best for you, but you're missing that dash there as well. We're trying to play a little bit here. And like the only reason she is changing targets here is simply because of the fact that he wants to aim for a win. Still still there for a little bit. Oh, very beautiful hit. Still still, still, still not dill. Still still there for a little bit. Sees where the cycle is. Cypher machine is currently of all okay, it's primed. Realized a little bit too late. It's a little bit too late to say sorry. Because I'm... We're going to wait here for another typhoon. We're going to wait here for another typhoon. That's what's gonna happen here. Because Chio wants quadruple stacks of speed boost or dashes for himself to use. So we're gonna do a mini pullback and most likely hit down. Uh, teleport is ready, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna get a hit out. And that's gonna be immediate. Yeah, that's gonna be immediate pop. There's one pallet drop down here, but it's only one. We're able to get. Oh, that's a beautiful flywheel from 18. Very nice hit. And I think we will have the teleport here. 
Oh, never mind. We actually don't have the teleport. He is also nearby as well. That's going to be a double speed booster for himself to use. And Psychologist is someone who heals slow. So the good news is Psycho heals slow. The bad news is there's a speed boost on towards Barmy Dovling side. So we're going to be able to vault over that. Meanwhile, vault over the second one. And for Barmaid here, he is dead. Flywheel! Flywheel! Beautiful! Beautiful! And it does seem like Psycho is almost fully healed as well. Psycho just got fully healed. And the exit gate is open on that side. So if Chiyue decides to chair here, then it actually may just end up as a tie. Wait, there is teleport. No way, right? Dash. Hard is in middle. Dash. Hard is in middle with a half a football. Hard is in middle with half a football. Hard is in middle with half a hole. Oh, okay, hard pulled the hole. Okay, okay, he pulled the whole shenanigan. Wait, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, hit. Wait a second, one, two, three, do we, can 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 we, no, no, can't do, nice tight, moving on. <coughs> now then, moving on, twice spawning at level 11 here. It seems like we're going to rush towards Hua Hua immediately as well. Uh, for a Pauline to come out here, it's not bad, but this is a very good containment area for against Pauline, so it will be quite hard for Pauline to aim for anything more, because like with these long walls, your Pauline can't really like react on time, but uh, that, that's quite a fast chip. That is quite a fast chip, I won't lie about that. We want to land the second one there immediately, but if this was Thaim, Thaim would have immediately moved out of- Oh wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, oh, forget about what I said, please. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, bees, the birds and the bees. The bees did come out and we decided to change- Well, we decided to change the wheel from just to catch up towards the Prozzi here, but Prozzi should be able to guarantee that 60 second containment here. Regardless, we're going to be able to change back towards human form and throwing down that magnet simply just um, implies that- Oh wait, this probably could be- Oh, this is not a push. Okay, this definitely won't be a push. This is a pull, this is an attracting set, and we see the second magnet coming out here immediately with another stun. It seems like we did not bring that spare fight for Tawai's side. With this type of containment as well though, even though it seems like he's barely been able to do two cypher machines, the bees didn't come on time. But the bees did buy enough time. The bees did buy enough time. With that many pushback right there, Huang He kind of just bought more than enough time for Mercenary Cypher to be at around 80%. Uh, I feel like Quan shouldn't really be touching the bees anymore after that, but Zubi is the one who finishes his cypher machine first, of course. We do a charge attack hit there trying to get... I guess it does make sense if you want to try to get something, but um, with this game, Tawai only needs a tie if he wants... Well, if he wants to win, he needs a tree man. But like, that's only if he needs a tree man. I feel like tying game 1 wouldn't be too bad of a start. Uh, Mercy jumping down here immediately, but the only issue is a no damage rescue, including the fact that there are bees nearby and the Mercy nearby. Ow! Oh, that didn't hit Mercy. That's bad. There's no spikes on Mercy as well. That's also very bad. So... Quaha here with Nostalgic just... Nostalgic effect just disappeared. But we are going to be playing around here for quite a bit of time as well. There's going to be a drop down boost right there. It seems like... Actually, no, never mind. It's a flywheel. Magnet? No, there's no need for Magnet. There's a Cypher Machine speed boost right there. There's a Mutal speed boost right there. Ah! We're gonna change forms here immediately. Ah, now this is the issue. Rebound kiting is scary. Oh yeah, rebound kiting is scary, isn't it? See, this is the issue. Ento counters. Oh, Ento counters. Slow movement speed hunters. No, you know what? Pardon is a slow movement speed, but like, you get what I mean. Now then, this is this is the moment of truth. Flywheel, flywheel? Ah, oh, no, flywheel. But the Cypher Machine is done. Look at the Cypher Machine right now. It's, it's by technicality done. The Cypher Machine by technicality is done. Because like, Zubi is finishing off the last Cypher Machine now. Well, no, not Zubi. Entomologist is finishing off the last Cypher Machine now, which is currently at 30%. And we do have a four, uh, not a four. I keep calling mercenaries forward. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, uh, extended spike. This probably will be able to land. That's a very nice one, but this is not a max presence pollen, so... That's also a second issue. So we're gonna get that. Okay, but even if you do this right now, the Cypher Machine is primed. Even if you do this right now, the Cypher Machine is going to be primed. The nostalgic effect is still taking into effect right now as well, but the moment that Pollen changes into wheel form, it's game over. It's game over. It's game over. It's game over. Because Prospector can play around this area for such a long time, it's actually game over. Like, 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 no, no, there's, there's no, like, Vault, 
You didn't get a spike on. You did get that. Oh, wait a second. A flywheel. There's a magnet. Wait, we're not going to use the magnet. There's no point in using magnet. Nice hit. We're going to go back into War's graveyard right now. And... Ah... Oh, it was such a good early yeah. game. It was such a good early game, but it was, it's entomolo entomologist is the main reason why Pondo lost this right now. It's entomologist. Now, we are going to be playing Ring Around the Rosie here for quite a little bit of time, but Tawai getting stuck right there. But at least we did manage to land one spike there as well at the same time. If we change towards wheel form here, uh, you probably could stun, but you're probably dead. And it's a three mana escape. Let's congratulate! Uh, cheers team if I'm not wrong for winning against this team. Anyways, moving on towards game two.